Hello everyone, my name is Carlo, and welcome to another K-Tech video. So today we will be uh, learning how to use the data tables. So from my previous video, I showed how to use the, um, the basic commands and the type of commands that you can do. And it, I sh also showed you how to use the debug console, uh, which is uh, this one right here and the designs um, on how to design your app. So right now, we will be learning how to use the data browser. So first of all, let's go to the data tab. And right now, of course, it says right here, your app can store data like high scores and survey results that get saved even after you reset your app. So uh, a thing you should know about it is um i created like a like a sort of a real time moving character type of thing and if there's going to be lots of data it's going to be entering a lot like um you're going to be i don't know entering the word banana every 1 second onto the data table well uh first of all if somehow code.arc detects this as like spam or something it will block you out well not block your account but like block it will say right here um the data table has been blocked for five minutes or something just to avoid spam and uh over um over coding thing so that's one thing and second of all uh it it won't catch up so, if for let's say the um, if for let's say you someone is clicking up multiple times because they want their character to go up, and it's also being added to the data table, then I wouldn't advise that because it won't catch up. It will make your app lag some more, and the data browser is probably just gonna cut you off because it's gonna think it's spam. Like it's just gonna. It's going to continue saying, like, it's spam. Please wait five minutes or so. So I just wanted to advise that. But um, that's it. Let's get started on the data tables. So first of all, let's uh, create a name. So I'm going to say accounts. Go ahead and click enter or add. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky because it can get complicated when um, you're entering the code. So. Right now on here, I'm just going to say username, because that's really the name of it, and password. That's pretty much it. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to add uh, time created. You guys don't have to do this, but um, it's, it's just nice to have. So, one thing that you guys should know is uh, don't add spaces. I don't know why I just did it, but I just, just put a dash or something. And that should help. Actually, no, no, the code might actually think it's something else. No, just don't add anything. Just put them together. Even if it doesn't look right, just put them together. So now, we got everything set up, technically. We got the registered login. We know where the command is going to go. So let's go create another screen. So when it, when the account is detected correct, it will go somewhere. So we'll go right here, and it's going to say, um, welcome to chat. And we'll go ahead and put in the go back symbol. And then there we go. So we're going to go ahead and say login success page. And now it's just go back and so and so. Or actually, no, we'll see log out. So and now here's where it gets really complex. So I, if you get, if you, if it gets a little complicated, I recommend pausing the video and seeing what I'm doing. And uh, so right now we should go ahead and make it a little more organized. So we'll right now start with create account. So now, when the account is being created or registered, 
we want to make it where if this button is clicked, so that's button 5, then it would create a record. Now, remember when I said that you can easily just go click the drop down button and you'll see all of the list? Well, this one you can't. You actually have to type it in. So you got to be careful because it's case sensitive, sort of case sensitive. So um, I just copy and paste it. Or you can just type it. Now, also on the last video, I said the show text. And I told you, like, it, you may want to be looking at that. So right here, you see username, password, type created, the one that you just created. So now, on here, on this one, you want to take that out and type in username. Because right now it says it right there. Next, you want to focus on this part. You take that Alice. I mean, just an example. Now, keep those uh, punctuation marks. Uh, keep those marks still on there. And what you're going to do... You, well, actually, you don't have to keep the marks in there, but just, just to be safe. And then you're going to get the drag this get text. And you'll see the yellow marker around it. The yellow border. And then now you're going to get the text input 3. And then you're going to go ahead and do that. Now, you're probably wondering, I still have more. Well, that's where the time, or not time, the show text comes up. Now, this is where I got mistaken before. Maybe you guys won't get mistaken this time. But right here when it says username, and then colon, parentheses, get text, parentheses, um, mark, text underscore input three, mark, uh, parentheses, parentheses, and yeah. Um, what you want to do is you want to do a comma. Now, this comma, make sure it's out of the parentheses area. Now, you can begin your other text. So, click space. And then now you can say password. And then now, add, the, add, those, add this mark. So, it's this one. Right there. And then now, you're going to show block. And then get text. And then get text and put four. Alright, we're gonna do it. You, now, you know what I said about the time thing? Well, you don't really have to create that, because it's not really required or anything. But, um... I'm gonna go ahead and create that. So, there. So, now... I'm gonna add the parentheses mark. Now... Something I forgot to mention, if you see these red marks, it means like there's an error in the code. Now you want to keep looking at that because it can actually help you. Like this one says missing semicolon. Now, I don't know what it means by that. Because, um, oh, semicolon, I think it's called that. Uh, yeah, you're going to add the semicolon. How did I forget that? <laughs> Okay, but anyways, um, yeah, you're just gonna add that mark, and then that way, you have the ability where you can now do the get text again. Now, we're not actually gonna get the text. If you want to do the time created also, um, be my guest, if you would like, but it's a little complex now, because, um, now if you go control, if you've explored this, you would see the get time. Now, I wouldn't drag this, because... That's not time. So, you see, it gets the time in milliseconds. So, what you want to do is go to the show text, and you want to get right here to the, um, not the get time, the date. Go ahead and copy and paste that. I forgot to mention this. When you are on here, you can actually see examples, and you can see an example of this. But, um, and I found it actually helpful, but, um... It was really complex. So I'm going to go ahead and take out those marks. I, sorry. 
and then go ahead and do control V or paste it and then now you have this now I wanted to say a text that says congratulations it's you signed up so say you successfully registered for an account okay too big so I'm gonna there we go so now actually how come it's not there we go now I want this to hide so a nice thing to do is just put it on top and just do label seven and then now it is there so now you're gonna go and click show element and then do label seven again and then you're going to go to um the control function and then you're going to go to set timeout now this is going to help you out because the set timeout means it's just going to time it to a certain amount of um to a certain amount of uh, milliseconds yeah <laughs> it's gonna time it to a certain amount of milliseconds and then um and then activate the command that's inside so i'm gonna set it to 3000 because i actually want people to read it and then i'm gonna go ahead and go with the hide element label seven and um pretty much that's it that's for the create one though so i can do test and then test two and then register and then you've successfully registered for an account and if i go here now onto the data it it you can see it right now. It says test, test two, and then the date. If I do it again, test three. And that's pretty much it. I mean, um, right now, I uh, this is only part A on the data. Because it can get really complex. And I want to save the login for a different video. So, um, I guess that's it. I recommend that you practice it. Um, Practice it, add more data t tabs that you can, and um, we will be focusing also on the ID. I will try to talk about that in the other, in the next video, but as soon we reach, but the next video is going to talk about the login. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, put in the comments below, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.